Okay, my dear students. Today I am going to discuss two amazing short tricks which will save you a lot of time. You can do this problem in just five to six seconds, five to ten seconds. That's it. So just go for the first problem here. He is asking us to find out the net electric field at the center. Okay, at this place in a pentagon. Okay. So here, uh, how many charges are there? Just four charges are there. Here there is no charge. You know about that that there is no charge at the one of the vertices. Okay, so this charge is not present. It is not present. Okay, so I will tell you the shortcut. Instead of finding the electric field intensity because of the four charges, if you find the electric field intensity uh, because of the one charge, that is going to be the answer. So E because of four Q. Will be equal to E because of one Q, and that is going to be equal to how much? You know, it is going to be equal to Q by four pi epsilon naught into R. If the distance is taken as R, the answer will be R because this is R, this is R, this is R, and you know this is a equilateral triangle. You are going to get here in the hexagon, so therefore this distance is also going to be R here. Okay, so this is going to be a shortcut formula. Uh, that means. Instead of finding the four charges, if you find out the electric field intensity because of single charge, that is going to be equal to the electric field intensity of the four charges. That is going to be your answer. That's it. So here, if you observe, the traditional method to find out the electric potential of an hexagon, hexagon. Here, pentagon was a here hexagon. So what is the traditional method? You have to find out all these things. You have to add all the potentials. Instead of this, there is a shortcut formula. What is that shortcut formula here? You know. Uh, electric potential is nothing but sigma q by 4 by epsilon naught into r square. If you find out sigma q, okay, that means the net charge. Then you can find out the net potential also. How? So net charge means if you add all these charges, that is 5 minus 8 plus 6 plus 2 minus 2 and uh, minus 3 and plus 5, you will be getting net charge as zero. Then, as the net charge is zero, directly you can write net potential as zero instead of uh, writing these formulas and adding them and wasting plenty of our time. Just add the charges and see whether the sum is zero or not. If the sum is zero, then potential is also going to be zero. Hope you have liked this shortcuts.